Recording in Audacity is as simple as hitting the red record button in the control bar section of the program. You will notice that only one channel is being recorded, which is sufficient for a podcast. If you would like to use two channels or record in stereo, you can make this change in the preferences setting of the program. You will also notice that there are blank spaces with no sound at the beginning and at the end of the audio file being recorded. These are important for noise reduction later on. For effective noise reduction within your file, use the selection tool from the control bar and choose a small portion at the beginning or the end of your audio file where it is blank. From the effects menu, choose noise removal and get noise profile with this section. Then from the edit menu, choose select all and once you have highlighted the entire track, again from the effects menu, choose noise removal and this time you can remove the noise and you should see the effects fairly quickly. If you would like to add other effects to your audio file, you can do so at this time. I'm now going to show you how to export your file. From the file menu, with the lame encoder installed, you can export as an mp3, or without the lame encoder, you can export as a WAV file. Create a name for your file and choose the place on your hard drive where you would like the file to be stored for export. The WAV file you have created can be imported into iTunes and converted into an MP3 file. Right click on your MP3 file in iTunes and choose Get Info from the menu that pops up to see this box. The tabs will take you to various places where you can input the metadata for your file. The Info tab, for example, will allow you to type in the name for your audio file, the artist, the album if you would like to provide one, as well as the album artist, and other general notes. Once you are done editing the text information, you can add artwork to your file by choosing the Artwork tab. Navigate on your hard drive to the site where the art file is located, choose it, and once you click OK, it will now be added to your audio file and visible within iTunes.